I'm Ralph Grizzle, the avid cruiser. For more than two decades, I've cruised the seven seas on some of the world's most luxurious ships. I write about my experiences on avidcruiser.com. My goal is to help people like you make informed decisions about your cruise vacations. Join me today in an exciting new mini-series as I explore the most popular cruise destinations around the world. My name is Ralph Grizzle, and I am the Avid Cruiser. For more than 2,000 years, Istanbul has been one of the world's most important cities. It's been successfully the capital of the Eastern Roman Empire and also the Ottoman Empire. Now, nowhere is that more apparent than right here where I'm standing. Behind me, a symbol of Islam, the Blue Mosque, and in front of me, a symbol of Christianity, the Hagia Sophia. Let's go check out this fascinating city that separates Europe from Asia. The Sultan Ahmed Mosque is also known as the Blue Mosque. It's a working mosque, but also a major tourist attraction located near the ancient Hippodrome. The 17th century mosque features picturesque domes and minarets. Inside, there are more than 20,000 Isnic tiles, shimmering blue in their tulip-like designs. The Blue Mosque was built to rival and even surpass the beauty of Hagia Sophia, a church that's now turned into a museum. Hagia Sophia was originally built by Constantine the Great and later rebuilt by Emperor Justinian to be the flagship church of the new Ottoman Empire. Constructed more than 1,500 years ago, Hagia Sophia is a former Greek Orthodox church and was later an imperial mosque, and today it's a museum. It was the world's largest cathedral until the 1500s, when Spain's Sevilla Cathedral surpassed it in size. Only steps away from Hagia Sophia, the Hippodrome was once the heart of Constantinople's political, social, and sporting life. I admired the snake column. It doesn't look like much, but it's actually an ancient relic from Delphi. Across from it is an Egyptian obelisk, which was taken from the Temple of Karnak in Luxor, Egypt. Even if you're not a shopper, you'll want to see the Grand Bazaar. It's one of the world's oldest and largest covered markets. Merchants are friendly, and bargaining can be fun if you take it with a good sense of humor. You'll find everything from souvenirs to saffron in the Grand Bazaar. Still surrounded by its defensive walls, Topkapi Palace was home to a succession of Ottoman sultans who resided here for nearly 400 years. Today the palace is a museum and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The biggest attractions here are the treasury, which holds the famed Topkapi Daman, immortalized by James Bond, and the Prophet Muhammad's cloak and sword. And of course, you'll also want to visit the harem. Another way to see Istanbul is from the perspective of the water. I made my way to a private yacht and cruised along the Basra Strait underneath the intercontinental bridge that connects Europe and Asia. Seeing Istanbul from this point of view gave me a totally new perspective, far removed from the hustle and bustle of the city. We're ending our episode here on four century walls built to protect the city of Constantinople. Today, the city known as Istanbul offers a wealth of experiences. Whether you choose to visit mosques or markets, museums or palaces, Asia or Europe, you're going to find something memorable and magic about Istanbul for you. I'm Ralph Grizzle and I'll see you in the next beautiful destination.